So guys, today I'm going to be talking finally about my newest product for Sanctified Weaving Company, and that is the Sanctified Survival Case, or the SSC. Now here are a couple models. Uh, I do want to, before I go too far, uh, I now, or I do want to say that I now have the iPhone 6 and 6S available uh, for models of phone cases you can now order. Also, if you want to see these phone cases, uh, it's fully survivaled out, check the video link in the description because I actually, with the prototype, showed how I built a survival survival kit for it. For the sake of this video, none of these have survival cases or survival kits in them. Just because I'm going to be removing the phones, I don't want like, a whole bunch of content spilling all over the place. But if you want to see more of that particular thing, go check out that video. Um, without further ado, let's get started. So to quickly go over uh, what these phone cases are, like I said, it's the Sanctified Survival Case. And to show you on the base model, this is the base model here, essentially what this phone case is, it's a fully Kydex phone case. So it's extremely lightweight and very durable. I ran into some problems with PVC and other things that did not survive drop tests, but Kydex being extremely flexible, I found that it does survive uh, drop tests and will protect your phone however i'm not going to say that this is a drop rated case how because it is not padded at all however at least in my testing i have not damaged any phones significantly by dropping them on concrete with these cases anyways uh, so it's a kydex phone case and like i said it kind of has this bump in the back of it and that bump is designed for you to put survival contents in from ferro rods and survival blades surgical blades you know to small fishing kits with fishing line and fishing hooks uh, you know just find out what you personally need for where you're at uh, and it allows you to pack just a few essentials it's not going to be a gigantic kit but it could really help you and improve your chances for survival just because you know it helps at least you have a ferro rod on you and you know some kind of striker for it or at least you have a few fishing hooks and a, a line or at least you have you know some snare wire or just something as small but really really useful now of course i will be or I hope to eventually send these with survival kits pre-made, but at this current point, I really don't have enough survival gear to send these with that option. But hopefully, like I said, I will in the future, but that would be really awesome. Um, for the now though, I'm kind of just leaving it up to you guys. Have fun with it and definitely make some videos. If you want to show your phone case survival kit, I will share it. But anyways, that is essentially the base phone case. Now, in addition to that, I also do the paracord strap option, which is what this and this one have. And this paracord strap, the reason why I do this, I do it for a few reasons. There's about three reasons I do it. One, to go with along with the whole survival case or survival kit theme, this adds about five and a half feet of paracord to your survival kit. So that is really nice because early on I was finding is that it was really hard, especially paracord, it was really hard to put cordage in this little survival bump here. So what I found was that if I could just conveniently add this paracord strap, it would give you five and a half feet of paracord very conveniently. But in addition to that, it also is a really nice handhold for your phone. And once again, you know, you can hold your phone um, with this strap without even having to hold the phone. This makes it really nice if you are prone to dropping your phone or if you run and hit something, you know, uh, and this is in your hand, regardless to if you're physically holding the phone or not, with this paracord strap, you are not gonna drop the phone. In addition to this, uh, I have placed all these paracord straps in convenient places to hit all the buttons. As you can see here, I can hit most of the buttons except for the home button because this phone's just a little too large for that. But aside from that, you can hit all the other buttons and the home button can be easily hit with your second hand. In addition to that, the other benefit is that properly placed this paracord strap can act like kind of a kickstand as you can see here and that allows you to just set your phone on something if you just want to be able to uh, you know like watch a YouTube video without you having to hold the phone it still holds the phone at about a 45 degree angle as well though you can bend it in and that's kind of its design so that when you want to put it in your pocket this is not going to be a large obnoxious piece it's going to bend right down and once again when you set it on things you can bend it down as well that's how this one is as well so really nice and very unobtrusive uh, 
in my opinion. Some people may not like the paracord strap, and that's why I have this option of no paracord strap. But uh, that is essentially the kit, or that is essentially the case. And hopefully you guys go check it out. Once again, I am actively trying to increase the amount of phone cases available or models of phones that I offer these phone cases for. But if you guys have a particular phone that you want this case made for, definitely always contact me before placing an order. And if you want to contribute a phone model, that would be extremely appreciated, especially some of the newer phones like the iPhone 7 and the Samsung S7. Uh, would be highly appreciated to get my hands on and make phone cases for so if you can contribute one definitely hit me up as well i would love to make phone cases for them but anyways guys that's it for now and don't forget to comment like share subscribe and once again i kind of apologize that the gopro is having to be used here i am working on getting another tripod so the main camera will be up eventually but anyways guys that's it for now and i'm out